Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. So, on this session, I decided to switch it up and kind of make it fun for Zara. I put the tarp down in her her paddock or her little um, run or pen. And I added the rubber feed tubs just to weight it down, and then they were safe in case she jumped on top of them. And I had the lead rope there just in case. And then I was using, I decided to bring cookies into the picture as a positive reinforcement. So every time she got close to the tarp, I rewarded her. I really like to allow them to investigate. Having her head over the tarp is huge. Um, but putting her nose down and sniffing and checking it out herself helps her build confidence. But I don't reward her until she makes a positive step. There, that was good. She felt the tarp on her pastern. And she goes back to checking it out. So I was really happy with that. And she comes right back to where she was. So I reward her each time she takes a step forward. She checks it out again, which is really good. There. And she realizes she's still alive, so she's good. <laughs> and then she checks it out again. checks it out again and then she puts that foot up although she didn't step on it she did move the foot forward so I did reward her she's really um, too smart for her own good <laughs> She realizes that I am not going to play when she does that, so she decides to rejoin from the side that she's comfortable Good girl. and stepped right on it that time. really thinking about it here. Just are waiting, barely teetering. Almost did it. Come on. So I had to go in the shed and get her, so I just put the lead rope on her, and actually I had brought the hose into her pen and just had it in her tank, turned it on. So I'm going to get her used to the hose here. So I just like to spray the ground next to them, kind of let them get used to the water splashing up on their legs first, and then I'll touch their legs. And I hold it there on their legs until they stop moving. So that tends to be a little tricky. When she realizes that it's not going to hurt her. She stands still. 
then I relieve the pressure immediately before she moves again. Good. Getting it on her back legs. So I'm using this so she gets the feeling of things touching her leg, her legs, um, before I put my hands down there. And slowly we move up to her body. Again, I stay with her until she stops moving and then relieve the pressure. Just before she moves. Again, this proved to be a little bit tricky. But you got to stay with her while she's moving. She disengages the hind end. So I relieve the pressure a little bit and go right back to hosing. And then I switch sides. Again, relieving pressure before she moves. And then I get her face too. I'm trying to throw it all at her and not dance around anything. I really work um, hard to make sure that I don't get it in her ears. She actually did really well for her first bath or rinse. See, she's really tense there, but she tolerates it. I try to offer her a little break and then see if she wanted anything out of the hose, and she didn't. So, just kept on going. What were we doing? Here you can see how much more relaxed she is becoming. The longer the hose is on her, she realizes actually she kind of likes it. Although we're in the shade, it was pretty warm that day. So she stood pretty well, and so I let her end on that. It was pretty stressful for her, but she did really well for her first rinse.
here I do offer her a cookie left over from earlier in our session with the tarp just to reward her. She backed up because I was scraping with my hand to kind of get some of the excess water off of her and went down her side. And she's still very leery with my presence there on her body and me touching her directly. But she's getting much, much better. Here I'm scratching her withers and she backs up. So I bring her back right to where we were and scratch her again until I decide I am done. And then I relieve the pressure. She did really well. I was happy with that. Here you can see I just have the lead looped over my arm. I don't have it wrapped in like a circle. It's just draping over my arm when it is there so that she can pull back and not my hand won't get hung up on it. And I can still grab it. And here she lets me walk right up to her and really get up close and personal with her forelock and her ears. She was really good. I was really happy with her response there. And then we worked on just walking and leading and she did fantastic. She was much um, more willing and soft on her face. than in previous days. There she spooked at the tarp with the wind blowing. And I was happy with that because if you see, instead of bolting forward, she jumped sideways and disengaged her hindquarters. And that's exactly what we want. That's what we work those first few days for to get rid of the bolt and then just have her turn in towards me and disengage the hindquarters. I was really proud of her for that. Here I'm scratching underneath her halter again, playing with different spots and getting her used to the, my touch. She's much more relaxed. And then since she stands still here at the end, so here I come back, um, again, keeping in mind that today I wanted to use and incorporate positive reinforcement. So I offer her a cookie and though she's reluctant, she does allow me to snap the lead rope on and realizes it's not gonna hurt her or kill her so she was good there um, and then I introduced the fly spray bottle or just a spray bottle but this is an all-natural fly spray so it's water-based and contains like apple cider vinegar and essential oils so I'm not really worried about how much contact of this fly spray there is on her 
Whereas with a pesticide, I would absolutely be. The wind is blowing a little bit, so whenever I spray next to her, it is blowing onto her. But her response is really, really good. I was happy and proud of her. So I sprayed some in my hand and then I wipe it on her face to help prevent the flies around her eyes. The flies were super bad that day. She did fantastic. I was so proud of her. So after doing her left side, I go to her right side. And I think her concern really is more of my presence, not even the spray bottle or the fly spray. And there she asked for another cookie, so I did give her one. She was being a good girl and standing. And just for reference, I will not be using cookies on every session from this point forward. It was just this day since I incorporated so much on this, on this training session. I just wanted to reward her with positive reinforcement. And she really appreciated it and responded well to it. But I don't want to make her mouthy. So after this session, I won't be using the positive reinforcement. She will go back to the rubbing of her withers for her praise and release of pressure only. You can see here really well how much weight she's gained. She's starting to look really, really nice. Again, um, her standing there and really just playing with her, her forelock and touching all over her head and ears. She was very good. I was very proud of her. There she jumped and it was a little leery again of my touch. She was very vulnerable on her side, but she did a good job. I was super happy of her progress this day.